Alright, hey, how's it going? Uh, last time we left off, we uh, uh, created a visual kind of inventory system. So if I go ahead and grab that, you'll see that I have the item name, item value, and item weight going into the inventory when you press I. Uh, and real quick, I just wanted to show I, uh, I kind of fixed the widget a little bit. I just wanted to show that before. Oh, no, not. Uh, yeah, it was on this one. Um, when I added the item name, item value, and item weight, I put spacers in between them, um, and I did a value of 30 uh, in the X to kind of space them out a little bit better because when I ended the last tutorial, they were like jammed right next to each other and it looked it looked bad. So uh, I actually wanted to go ahead and start something uh, new uh, today. So. Um, I wanted to try and focus a little bit more on the um, the planets and actually get the planet system itself working. Um, so what I've done is uh, I went ahead and did this on the side uh, and I actually have uh, a YouTube channel that I want to thank for being able to get this. Um, it's uh, Cobrius. Uh, he created a tutorial on how to um, pretty much use the twin stick shooter uh, character to have it wrap around a planet. Um, so I'm essentially going to use this character, wrap it around a planet, and then convert this character to a first person character. Uh, because it's first person, really all we're going to be seeing is the gun um, or, you know, and the arms. So we can add in those animations later. Um, so for right now, I want to kind of uh, hold off on the inventory system and set this system up uh, real quick. So, uh, so we'll go ahead and do that. So first, what I want to do is actually set up the planet itself. Um, okay, so uh, a lot of this is going to be very similar to how uh, he created his system. Um, so I will be, uh, of course, giving him credit in the description of this video. And uh, please go and, and check out his channel because he's got he's got some pretty good stuff on there. Um, so I'm gonna do. Oh, caps lock is on. Planet. Um, I'll just put planet in there. So we'll go ahead and double click. Let's blueprint class actor. This will be planet. Um, let's. Eh, Planet underscore main. We'll do that. I'll just go ahead and save it, and then add up. So first thing, I want to add a static mesh component. Planet, and we are going to use There's another sh sphere that I thought we had. Yeah, we'll use this material sphere because uh, the pivot is directly in the center already. All right, so we'll go over to the construction script. And uh, again, this is pretty much how he uh, created this. I really like his system. So I'm going to go ahead and use this uh, radius in meters. It's a float. And then we'll need radius in units. And actually, I'm going to get rid of And I really don't like having spaces in my uh, variable names. And I'll make this one public. Grab this one out. That's a get. And times. I'm 
then we're going to set the radius in units. That. Grab our planet. Get. Component. Bounds. Right, and we can much split this. Divide. And then I want to set the world scale. And this basically means that you can uh, uh, control the size of the planet based on whatever this value is. So uh, we'll go ahead and do set it at like five for now. Why not? Go under viewport. You'll see it's gotten bigger. All right, so now there's a function that we want to create here. Create this function, we get surface location and normal at, and this is exactly what he named his. Um, I, I, again, I just really like how he has his system set up, so. Um, Two outputs. This is surface location and surface normal. All right, so basically, what this is going to be doing is getting the center of the object and then using the radius and units to get the. Um, uh, direct the outside of the sphere all the way around it uh, and this will only work if it's a perfect sphere sphere which in our case it is um, and then we can modify it later on to uh, to uh, function properly normalize our radius and units time oops Times by a float. Put these together. Okay, so this will be our surface location, and this will be, excuse me, our surface normal. All right, so that's pretty much that right there. I think our planet is done for now. Go ahead and grab our character here. Go into here and grab this guy. And. Oh, we don't want that. I'm just going to go ahead and delete. All of this for now. And we'll go ahead and create the movement ourselves. Okay, so first thing we want to get move forward, get move right, make vector. Y and the axis. Get movement speed. And times. This is pr all pretty much already there. Um, I just didn't want to have to waste time trying to glow, go through everything individually. Um, and kind of pull it apart, if that makes sense. So I uh, I just wanted to do it from scratch here. Make it a little bit cleaner so you see what 
you need and, and, and so on. So we want to add actor local offset. And this will be our location. And also, oops, event we can play. Want to get all. And like I said, this is all what he did. So I don't want to uh, make it anybody think that, you know, I. I'm stealing this and, uh, you know, unknowingly stealing this, essentially. Basically, all this is doing is getting the planet that we're doing and setting its variable. Um, okay, what was next? Uh, get the surface location. This is the function that we made in the other one. Um, and we'll get this actor location. That'll be that. And uh, get actor location. Oh, hold on. Oh, no, I want to set actor location and rotation, right? Yeah. Okay, so I want this here. Actor location is the new location. And then we want to get the actor forward vector and make rot from, <laughs> which one was it? C, yeah, C and X, okay. Go ahead and do that. And that should be it for now for that system. Okay, and now what we want to do is add arrow. Actor forward. We want to make this the parent of this. I'll delete the camera boom. Okay, and then we want to access turn and import access look up. Get our actor forward, add local rotation. Make rotator, this will be in the Z. And we want to get the ship mesh component here. Add local rotation. I want to, because it's going to be flipped, we want to times this by negative one. Make rots. This will be in the y axis. That'll go there. That'll go there. Okay, and now. I want to move this guy up a little bit. Let's move up to 90. And let's clear this guy. And I want, just for visual, add a cube. And I will like, scale him down a little bit. In, and this will be our, like, makeup gun kind of 
kind of deal here. All right, and I believe that is everything right now. Okay, so now what we want to do. Why is that blueprints? Want to change the game mode to twin stick game mode? Change the character. Oh no, it's already there. Okay, and then we just want to do that. Delete him. Let's bring our planet. here and now see we can move around the sphere here and we can look around an issue with the ah that's why okay and now we can look around move around and as you can see we're moving around the planet itself and now of course we can go ahead and start spawning objects uh, over the planet and uh, we can um, yeah uh, spawning objects on the planet itself making our forest, making the planet really big, of course. And then what we can also do is set a, a variable. So when we get into the player ship, uh, gravity is reassumed. Um, so the player can then fly to a planet um, and uh, maybe do an overlap event. So um, you know, that's disabled when you get into it, so you could fly. Um, and land and stuff. I, I mean, uh, it's going to be take some finagling, but I think we'll be able to figure it out pretty good. Um, and as you can see, I'm upside down. Yay. Um, so yeah, so that's the end of this tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching. And um, like I said, check out the description for the, uh, the guy's channel that I, I got the majority of that code from. Uh, well, essentially all of it, with the exception of setting up the character here and um uh like i said setting up the uh, uh the camera functions and stuff like that so the player can actually walk around and look around and things like that so uh yeah uh thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video